the other night when I had a birthday party, the BBC gave me a birthday party. They were all there. I used to go and play with several youngsters who immersed me in the brine tub of English. We made it something special. Oh, my word, there, is, there, there are so many of them with great smiles, you know, and I've got the youngsters on, on one knee. All that, 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 that beauty, that balletic movement, I thought, this is what I pray for. I pray for this. And then I could show them what we were made of. I want an example. <laughs> in the bum you go. And I pushed my chest in a, a great roistering day. And I owe it all really to the BBC. And I've been lying ever since. <laughs> I was very happy. Regularly for the old days. Pints, flagons of ale, loads of claret, lots of champagne. A girl on each arm. Only ten years old. And I fell in love with what the BBC was made of. It's all money. Drink a bottle of claret a day, 20 cigarettes, sinning as often as possible. But as Mrs. Patrick Campbell said, I don't mind if you do it in the bum. Don't do it in the streets. I want to be filthy, stinking rich. So I said, well, that's it. I'm into broadcasting, and that's how I began. <laughs> uh, the secret is to do everything that the doctors say you shouldn't do. But unfortunately, I've got several youngsters who enjoy what I do. I create and they enjoy and they tell me, which gives me the greatest of pleasure. For the sheer joy of beating little girls again. <laughs> they were in shock. Either people like it or they don't. Shall we let them have another go? The other said, no, you can't do that. And everything went wrong. It hit the national press with a cop chanting my name, 53,000 people. What's Hall doing? What's he doing? Yes, I said, oh, sure, yes. Are you happy with that? <laughs> Can't imagine that happening today. Well, your decision now. And remember, in Life Hall, everything matters, but nothing matters terribly. There'll always be an England. <laughs>